Welcome to We Funny AF, formerly the Imperial Eagle Live podcast, same crew, new do. We got the upper echelon, end all, be all, duality, part 108, hold up, available across all streaming services. We still have the same website set up for merch at imperialinkmusic.com. Various t-shirts and masks, and we also have new merch on the way specifically for the podcast, and it's coming soon. So, let's get into this, y'all. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, them Imperial boys is back. Yeah. And of course, you know we had to come back on some new shit. Yeah. Uh, uh. So, without further ado, I welcome you to the We Funny AF Podcast. Yeah. I'm the one and only Figs. I'm with my main man, Biggs. And we about to take you there. Let's go. We funny. What's up, y'all? What Welcome do? to uh, We Funny AF. We Funny. I know y'all uh, have been getting a lot of 20 question episodes, but I had to do one more because I felt like I wanted to try to stump yeah. uh, Fix because he always and I'm think he's better than me. Shit. He's not. I'm about to fuck him up. So y'all, y'all going to be surprised. Let's do it. But this is going to be um, a uh, hip hop uh 20 questions for figs i came up with all these questions oh did you like yeah, yeah you, know, you I sit came around up with like hmm, every one of these questions. what color was raekwon's shoes in the cream <laughs> video <laughs> 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 they ain't gonna be that specific but they're gonna be pretty specific let's go um, all right i'll give you the first one the first one is and some of them are easy you ought to be able to get some of them real right. easy uh who was the original host of yo mtv raps the original host yeah Fat Five Freddy? Yep. Yeah. See? Yeah. See? Some of them Fat Five too. Freddy got everybody style. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you know who sung that song? Uh, Deborah Harry. Yeah, well, uh, that's the name of the band. Because uh, they had my other joint. No. That's I'm Blondie. thinking of the Tom Tom. Yeah, Blondie. Yeah. I was thinking of the Tom Tom. Genius of Love, what you was thinking yeah. of. That's a classic. All right. So if we got number one under the belt, we'll go to number two. Who was the first hip hop group to appear on Saturday Night Live? On Saturday Night Live. Yeah. Hmm. Good luck. Oh. Um, you don't know. Fuck you. I think <laughs> I, I think I got a good answer. Uh-huh. Uh huh. But I'm trying to think of how long it could have went back. Um, it's really. I would say Public Enemy. No. It's or not. E- it's not an easy one. Cause I don't think you was gonna get Curtis Blow in them on there. No, it wasn't them. It's it's before Curtis Blow. LL Cool J. It's before LL. Okay, if it's okay, it's well, okay. Before. You gave me a time frame, yeah. so let me see. Uh, he says way before LL. Yeah, this is like in uh, hip hop's like uh, I guess what do you call it when you like the first born type thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, it's like uh, not even in the golden age of hip hop. I would say Sugar Hill Gang. No, you close, but no. A Planet Rockin' Hill? No. <laughs> if you said I'm close with a Sugar Hill. Yeah. Damn. You, yeah. That's how Furious, far back it was. Uh, Grandmaster Flash and them? Nope. Am I still in the same time frame? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Damn, it ain't too many more motherfuckers. It was hot. At you know, that the time. thing about it, though, is when you think about it, hip hop has been around for so long, especially when it first started. There weren't a lot of hip hop groups, but there's more than you think. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's way more than you think. LA Dream Team? No. They're from LA, so no. Uh, it don't it's, matter where they're from. They could have flew <laughs> over that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> they could have, but that uh, wasn't them. I give up. That was Funky Four Plus One. Nigga, I ain't never heard a Funky Four Plus One <laughs> song ever. <laughs> now you should do some fucking homework Damn, nigga. and learn. Oh, see, okay, I see what kind of games we play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, you t- I told you I was going to try to stump okay. you. Okay. So I'll give you the nigga, next That one. was before I was born. 
<laughs> or right as I was born. I give you another one that's really, really easy. What are the four elements of hip hop culture? And I'm I'm putting that one out there because I need the listeners to learn some of this shit. <laughs> uh, it's the four elements. Yeah, and you know them. We've talked about them. rapping, hip hop, graffiti, uh, <laughs> and dancing. not hip hop. Uh, well, hip-hop I mean, is... did I say rapping and hip hop? Yeah. I didn't mean to. <laughs> rapping, uh huh. Break dancing, uh huh. Graffiti, uh huh. Rapping, break dancing, graffiti. Mm-hmm. He is missing one. Rapping, dancing, graffiti, mm-hmm. and DJ. Yep, that's it. Yeah. That is the four uh, elements of hip hop culture, y'all. DJing or turntablism, which I didn't even know was yeah. a word. Yeah. Uh, rapping, MCing, break dancing, b boy and b girl, and, and graf- graffiti, yeah. and, which I think is really dope. And I can only do. <laughs> one of them motherfuckers. Nah, I can do two of them. <laughs> What's the other one? I can dance. You can dance. Yeah, I can dance now, nigga. <laughs> I got a dance on. Uh, okay, you can dance. I, I, I've been trying to DJ, but uh, it's good. It's, yeah, it's, huh? You need some better turntables. That's yeah. that's the thing. You need some good turntables. Yeah. You might be able to cut something up. All right, that was the what number three. So we're gonna do the number four. Who is considered the creator of hip hop? The creator? Yeah, pretty much the creator of hip hop. Grandmaster Flash? No. No, not Grandmaster Flash. Cool Herc? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be Clive Campbell. That is Cool Herc. He is the guy who had them block parties Uh in, 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 in New York. And kind of created an, an, an entire genre and cool lifestyle. Heart. Power from the street lights made the place <laughs> dark. <laughs> Cause, yeah, because they, they was, was lifting power. power. Yeah, yeah, that's it. All right, number five. Who was the first rap group to get a record deal? Rap group? Yep. Damn, see, nigga. My, hey, I nigga, told we you. we uh, back you, in the hey. days. When and this I, is shit I I knew. So you you need to learn this shit to get a record deal. Yeah, first rap. Group. And you're probably gonna kick yourself in the ass for not getting it if you don't get it. Run DMC. No. Um, they know not Run DMC. I can't. Oh well, yeah. Because everybody came out around I forgot that, same time that there was DMC. nineteen posses before the right <laughs> uh, first rap group. Uh, Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five? No. You want me to give you a hint? Sugar Hill Gang. No. You want me to give you a hint? They had the first record. No, they did not. I can give you a hint. We have discussed them before. The first... You sure it ain't the Sugar Hill Gang sure. and Sylvia Robinson sure. and she came to them and I they did that sure. shit in the disco I'm and sure. all that shit. I'm, in, that, in that video? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure. I'm going to have to fact check your shit. Oh, I'm going to do that. First oh. rap group? Mm-hmm. And like I said, we've talked about them before. <laughs> we talked about all kinds of rap groups. I know, but... Today, we, we talked about them today. Yep. Oh, well, that's uh, <laughs> that's cool, Herkin. No, no. Uh, that's, uh, <laughs> I'm just thinking of everything we done said. <laughs> Who is it? Fuck, it's Funky Four plus one. Same Who, group, man. Who's in that motherfucking group? <laughs> <laughs> I want to know. I'm will, about to go look up some Funky Four plus one. You should music. do that, and I'll tell you what's really Maybe cool I'm about it. Maybe I'm missing something. I'll Maybe it's a song I know. Probably, what, probably. What's really cool about it is they had the first female MC, too. That one more was a female MC. Nigga, tell me their names. I, oh, shit. See, if you, you don't even that. know them names. No, I don't know their names, but I, I remember some of their jokes. Tell me a song. Hell. I can't do that either. See, you don't know this shit? <laughs> <laughs> that tells me that you've been on some. You've been trying to, boy, you've been trying to stomp me. Bro. I'm going to stop you some more. Number six, and if, I don't even know if you know this one now, but number six, what song and artist did Madonna sample in the song Justify My Love? Mm-hmm. What song and artist? Yeah. yeah. Do you remember that song? Was Justify it another? Uh, Do you remember the song? Yeah, Justify mm-hmm. My Love. Yeah. She sampled it. Yeah. Nigga, that ain't a rap question. It is, too. Uh, it's Especially, a rap song? Yeah. She sampled Yeah, well, sort of. When you, when you hear the answer, you'll see why I said sort of. Uh, but it is a rap group. 
And she sampled rap before, I'm trying too. to hear the song in my head, but I can't really hear it because mm-hmm. uh, I don't fuck with that shit, really. <laughs> um, and she sampled somebody else before later on in her career, but I can't think of who it is right offhand. But this one Well, was, I'm not going to be able to answer it unless I heard the song and right. I hadn't heard the song. So. You want to take a... A, a quick pause? No, I, I don't care that much. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what's the S? Public Enemy. Which song? Uh, Public Security Public? of the First World. Oh. That beat that goes underneath of that. Doom, doom, tack, stick, doom, 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 you got doom, your damn doom, nerve doom, talking doom, about the obscure doom, ass doom, questions <laughs> I find to ask but you. But the thing about, about it was, is that's not that obscure because. Uh, Hip hop heads who like Public That's Enemy not, love I can't that beat. Call not none of my niggas that listen to hip hop that knew the answer to that. That's because they don't pay attention either. They you either. didn't know it until you looked it up today. No, I knew that back in the day. I, when it when it first came out, bro, you didn't. Know I was that listening last question. to it. You had no earthly. You can't tell me shit about the four and the one. I'm actually when we get done, I'm gonna find you one by them because <laughs> I have heard them before. <laughs> yeah. But let's but, go. All right, what, you want the next one? Yeah, fuck you. All right. You're, trying to, you're making me mad because these questions are just like, who the fuck? Hey, you're doing the same shit to me. Um, okay. Oh, here's a good one. And I didn't know this. I did have to look this up. It was a conversation I saw between two artists, and it fascinated me. What was the last album, this is number seven, Method Man Cursed On? Uh, probably, um, it might have been To Cal. Or the second album. What was the second album? Uh, to Cal the prequel. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what was the second album? <laughs> I hate, you know, they always have weird titles. But yeah. I'm going to guess it was very early. I'm going to say one or two. What was the album? Woo Massacre. Woo Massacre. Uh-huh. That ain't even like really his album. Like, that's not the a, question. That's the question a compilation. Was, what was the last and album? And who the fuck knows on? where that fell? <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, shit. Yeah, boy, you, re- you, know, you really did it I with these you, questions. I told you I was going to stop. I don't even think he knows the answer. He knows that. the answer because that's where I got it from. I, I heard, I, heard a, um, uh, I watched the interview. Well, Wool Massacre, that about. might be the album between him, Ray, and ghost if that's the case if that's mm-hmm. the name of that album like i believe mm-hmm. um that ain't been that ain't too very 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 long ago no because he, he had had and uh, get, he had already had several even up in in the I, um meth and red albums. and i want to talk to him because i want to know why the fuck you don't cuss on your songs, but when I turned to power the other day, you was cussing your motherfucking ass off. Like, what's the difference? Really? He's acting. That's well, different. I'd rather hear it than see it. <laughs> like, see you say it. Like, I feel like that's going to stick with me a little more. I'll give you another one. This one might be pretty simple for you. Uh, number eight, Chuck D, a public enemy, once called Rap the Black What? And I know you know this. Come on, I know you know this. He called this the black. Yeah. What do they say? Rap is basically black rock and roll. No, it's it's like news. It's like it's telling you what's happening in the streets. Oh, um, the black CNN. There you go. Yeah. See, I knew you knew that. I one. mean, I I should have thought politically. I should have known, but he just said some shit like that. He's always talking about <laughs> yeah, he's always saying uh, off the cuff stuff like that. Number nine, who was the first rap artist to get uh, to get a star on the Wall of Fame? A Walk of Fame, my bad. God, this nigga is with these first. <laughs> <laughs> these first. <laughs> you are my memory. You know how many drugs I did in my life. He's like, with these first. Oh, uh, the first rapper to get. Uh, I give you a hint. It's not a male. I don't know if that'll help you or not, but it is not a male. Well, it is it's a not a male, mm-hmm. and they got they didn't get on the Walk of Fame by their music. So, and you say it's not a male. Mm-hmm. I almost want to say Queen Latifah. There it is. 
That's exactly yeah. what it was. And I think it was for acting, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, well, I mean, it was probably a combination of both. Yeah. To get on the Walk of Fame, you got to do more than just rap, nigga. Well, like, not necessarily. I mean, I mean cause well, like, like I, Jay-Z might get a Walk of Fame. But, right. Yeah, but, you, you know, I feel like you've got to be a superstar to, to get on to the Walk that. of Fame. Yeah, you, yeah. you got to have some, some projection about you. Number 10, let's see, who is the latest to win a star on the Walk of Fame? Damn, and I probably seen the picture. Probably. Uh, the and other this day. was like not that far in the back. This is what a month, maybe a couple months or something. Ice like that. It's not a long time. You close. Uh, he ain't. just got one, but he must. He might not have been like, Ice T. Yep, that's yeah, who it was. I seen that. I picture. thought you did. Like, yeah. I, I'm not surprised on that one. Let's see. That was number ten. We're gonna speed through these because I don't want to keep you hanging. Even no, I nigga, I ain't. stumped your ass several times. But here With we some go. bullshit. I ain't bullshit. You should know this shit. Eleven. You ain't even yeah. asked me no questions in the kind of hip hop I listen to. That's not the point. <laughs> you asked me questions about hip hop that happened when I wasn't even knowing what hip hop was. <laughs> Next answer, I'm just say the rapping Duke. <laughs> da ha da ha. Number eleven. What was the first number one hit? To feature rap vocals, and we have talked about this song before. The first too. number one hit to f- hit of all time to feature rap. Mm-hmm. I'ma say, I'ma feel for you, Shaka Khan. Uh, Shaka Khan, further back. Khan. It's further back. back. Yeah, um, and we've talked about it. Uh, so you see what time period I'm always answering in. You're, you're in the um, prime. Yeah, because you period. want me to go all the way. But I want you to go to the history. Damn it, the history. Yeah. Uh, the first, yeah, and you know this one too. Further back, because like I said, we have chatted about it. Was it a Prince song? No, uh, it's not Prince. Uh, it Prince. <laughs> Before Shaka Khan, first rap song, the first song. No, what well, was the first number one hit to feature rap vocals? Oh, not necessarily one. a rap song. Number Keep that one. in mind. Paula Abdul Scat Cat song with that shit. Farther back than that. Damn. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> the niggas don't know about that. Who Scat Cat? Uh, uh, MC yeah. Scat Cat. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> damn. Further back than that. Yeah. Number one hit. Uh huh. <clears throat> you want me to give you a hint? Yeah, give me a hint. You we sung. You sung it earlier. <laughs> I sung it earlier. You said it. Not even ten minutes ago. <laughs> You've already said it. Uh, Curtis Blow song? No. Uh, the message? Uh, <laughs> I can't, I'm just having a hard time figuring out what could have been number one, the first number one, because rap wasn't very accepted. So it's kind of crazy for me to figure out what what it could have been. I don't know. Um, it, you know, it's Rapture by Blondie. You oh. sung it out. <gasps> Fat Five Freddy got yeah. everybody's style. That was. Can you believe that's the first yeah. Fresh song to feature? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which bust the move. It took a white lady And it to don't do stop. It, which I like. Sh- I think it's Rock. <laughs> she was yeah. trying to rap a little bit. I wonder who wrote that or if she wrote it. I believe Fab been... might have wrote that. He might have. <laughs> Fab used to be on the back scene back then. He might have. Number twelve. What rap group was signed to Hank Shockley's? Uh, you know who Hank Shockley? Is? Yeah. Public Enemies record label. Oh, the Lynch Mob, nigga. Mm-mm. Ice Cube in there. Mm-hmm. Uh, what what group? Mm-hmm. Okay, let me think. Cause they didn't fuck with a lot of people. No, and this uh, group only had two albums. Uh, Hank Shockley and I know, I know. I, yeah, I, you know. I, I'm just not gathering it right now. Uh, who did they produce for? Other than Ice Cube and Public Enemy. A lot of people don't. They know produced they did for Cube. Kane a little bit. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> the Beastie Boys? No. Uh, you kind of close. Uh, Run Deals? No. You kind of close when you said Beastie Boys. Uh, and probably for a reason that you ain't thinking of. Right third now. Base? N- n- no, they did produce them, but no. They wasn't signed to the label. Uh, I can't remember who Third Base was signed to. I think uh, I, I'm looking at the... 
I should know myself because mm-hmm. I, oh, I, know I, you I still know. see the green uh, cactus album cover. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, damn. Um, he said close to the Beastie Boys. Mm-hmm. But not for the reason you think. Uh, mm-hmm. Fuck it, I give up. That's uh, Young Black Teenagers. God damn. <laughs> Who the fuck even knows about young black teenagers but me and you? <laughs> like nobody. These questions is uh, uh, these questions is ridiculous. You know what? I bet if somebody listened to uh was a uh uh was a pop the bottle and twist the cat, cat. they yeah. gonna know that yeah, song. Because that one was actually a hit. You ask so. me about groups, hell I could ask you questions about <laughs> Smooth the hustler and trending. Like, do you even know who that is? <laughs> no, but I can, you know, I can ask you some facts. About yeah, but I'm too. asking you shit you should easily I, know. I don't know that. That's pretty deep. I ain't that, thought that about young black teenagers deep. in years. That was not that deep. Number thirteen. What rap song spawned? And you ought to get this one. Spawned anywhere from thirty to a hundred answer records. What rap song spawned a hundred to a thir- uh, thirty to a hundred? Yeah, and you probably was a little baby when this song came out, but everybody knows this song. And Roxanne there, Shantae? Yeah, Roxanne Roxanne. Yeah, Roxanne, because I, yeah. Because <laughs> that was like five Roxanne. million of them songs. Nigga, you are, boy, you are hanging on that edge of when I was born. <laughs> like, I mean, like, damn. I'm trying to give you the history. Yeah, you, you, you. I mean, some of this history is wild. <laughs> <laughs> 14. Who are the principal? I don't know if you could do this. Who are the principal ne- members of the Native Tongues? Principal members? Yeah. And uh, not by name, but by group. Does that uh, make sense? That's pretty easy. Um, I ain't going to say it's pretty easy, but I know a Trout Called Quest. Yes. Jungle Brothers. Yes. Uh, Queen Latifah. Yes. Um, you only got two more. De La Soul. Yes. One um, more. And one more. Black Sheep. Nope. Uh see the buddy video Mommy yeah love yep that's yeah. it now like you said there are more after that like black sheep uh, um, a couple of others that come i believe in, naughty by too. nature ended up as a native tongue member oh for real yeah see you, you got me on that one i didn't know that but yeah that's that's the uh native tongues who i fucking love yeah um no f- that one yeah you did good i'm proud of yeah. you uh number 15 if you can name these dudes, I'll be really, really impressed. Who are the five members of Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five? Oh, my God. I don't <laughs> know <laughs> none of them niggas' names. Uh, Scorpio. <laughs> yeah, but uh, he wasn't what like really an official one, but, yeah, he was one of them. Melly Mel. Yep. Grandmaster Flash. Yeah, you, uh, you can give him one. Them other two niggas is done. <laughs> 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 I don't know them niggas. Is <laughs> One of them just got put in jail for murder. Oh, 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 what's his name? Mr. Something? No. No. He nigga look Chinese. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what's his name? Uh, you right, though. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, two names. Yeah. Uh, I think the rest of them got uh, two names. She went to the city and had social security. <laughs> That's my favorite line. <laughs> she went to the city and got social security. <laughs> social security. Don't push me. Uh, uh, social security. What was that nigga's name? Chan Man. What was that little nigga's name? Yeah. What is his name? That's Kid Creole. Kid Creole. Oh, how did I not yeah. know that? The only one you missed was uh, Keith Cowboy and Raheem. Keith Raheem. Cowboy. Yeah, he's he died. He's the first one that passed out of all of them. Um, and you miss Raheem, and that's yeah. it. You got the rest of them. Though. Yeah, but damn. <laughs> this nigga want me You to... did good, though. I'm impressed with some of these you get in that's, that's impressive. Nah, I mean, ask me something about Big Daddy Kane and them. 90... No. Can we get to 80? No. Can we at least get to 87? No. 89? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe 90? <laughs> I, I was I, 11 years old. I, <laughs> like, I, I'll try to finish off on a really, really easy but, one. No, nah, I don't want nothing specially handed to me. <laughs> I just want you to be fucking up and up with these questions. <laughs> what number was that? That was uh, 16, 16. That was 15. We on 15. 16. Okay, you might know this one too. I know you know it, but I don't know if you know the name of it. Uh, what song was the first to feature Turntableism? First song. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's that song? Herbie Hancock. 
That's Rocket, but no. Uh, uh, that one kind of put it over the top, though. Uh, okay, so it's before Herbie. Yeah, um, and you know it because we've already talked about this dude, too. Several to, times. Today? Yep. Grandmaster Flash. Yeah. Do you I, know? That's fucked up. I you know what song him, I'm talking about, though, I asked right? him 17 times, and I finally got it right with him. <laughs> <laughs> what, Perfect Beat? I don't know. No, that's, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's uh, the wrong uh, group uh, anyway. Soul Sonic yeah. Force. Yeah. No, nah, it was uh, Grandmaster Flash. The Adventures of Grandmaster Flash on the Wheel of Steel. It's the one that had um, another one, Bites the Dust. It had Rapture. Oh, okay. It had all them different songs in it. Okay. That was the first one I actually featured. Uh, turntablism where people I remember listening to that song and being amazed because these different songs kept coming on. Coming on. I ain't even and, the questions you got me answering. I ain't uh, even bought my first rap tape yet <laughs> in life. <laughs> like I, like you know what I mean, I'm just sitting here thinking I wasn't allowed in no clubs at this age. I, but, like this is hard. Now, okay, how about this? Maybe this will be a little easier because this is on up in I guess the latter part of the nineties. But it's an obscure question, though. Name five of the eight rappers Janet Jackson has featured on her songs. Or had sex with. Which one? <laughs> we don't know who she well, had sex with. I believe with. Q-Tip was poking. That was one. Uh, and they did date. Joni Mitchell never lied. Um, Joni Mitchell ain't a rapper. But that's what he said on that song. Joni mm-hmm. Mitchell never lied. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I know J. Cole. Yep. Um, that's two. Uh, Is there a Luda song? Uh, nope. Oh, I was just guessing since they're on tour. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> J. Cole. Uh, yeah. Who was it? Who'd you say? You said J. Cole and who was the other? Q Tip. Q Tip. Yeah. She didn't have a lot of rappers, so it's kind She of still got six more. And uh, they're all prominent except for maybe one of them. She ain't do no song with J, I know. Uh, who? J. Who? Z? 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 No. I heard that. No. Uh, and it's these are like crazy popular rappers. Like I said, all of them are except for one. Uh, Janet. Mm-hmm. Uh, and when I tell you, you're going to be like, damn it, because you'll remember. Uh, <clears throat> who? Did, okay, I'll give you a, a hint on one. Who did Chuck D say could win a rhyme fight? God damn. You don't remember that? How do you not remember? You said girl, that to, like, yeah, you said that to me before. Uh, <laughs> I know. I got my, nigga, I, my brain ain't working, but uh, <laughs> Chuck D said who could win a rhyme fight. Yeah, she could win a rhyme fight. He said, he said it on that, um, what was her DJ's name? He said it on Terminator his Yeah, Yeah, he said on Terminator X's song. Uh, and you said that to me. It was like. Yeah, it was like. Light. Yeah. Uh and uh, that's three. Okay. I wasn't even thinking girl rappers. Yeah. There's I, a, there's another girl rapper. Missy, maybe? That's Missy. Yes, okay. that's four. And uh, Give me one more. Uh, one more? Yeah, uh, and I'll tell you the rest of them. Uh, you did good, though. Q-Tip, Light, Cole. Uh, who else did you say? Uh, Elliot, Missy Elliot. Uh, uh. <laughs> 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 that ain't no Biggie, I'm sure. No. Nope. Uh, that ain't no Jada. Maybe Mace. Mace Mace. Oh, I was wrong. There is one more girl. It is one more one girl. One more girl? Yeah. Oh, Lil' Kim? No, no that ain't she's Kim. not uh, popular. She's not popular. No, she was a one hit wonder. Uh, I bet you think this song is about you. <laughs> uh, uh-huh. I don't know. I'm done. You remember uh, Kaya? My neck, my, my back. What if? Tell That's the only. Uh, hey, no she song. did that just because the Queen B ain't gonna do no song with her. <laughs> like, shit. The others was Nelly. Okay. You remember that? No. Uh, <laughs> Chuck D. I should have said Chuck. Yeah, and I think the only other one you missed was Heavy D. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, Heavy yeah. D is a beast. I love Heavy D. Yeah. 
Uh, let's see. We'll go to 18. We're almost done. I'm, I'm proud of and you. And I felt decent. this test miserably because the questions is fucked up. <laughs> I'm just telling you. Let's go. All right. What? You ought to be able to get this one. This is easy. You know what? I'm not even going to do that one. You know, yeah, do, do something. One. I'm going to give you another one. What rap group started out as a punk rock band? That's easy. That's easy. It's the Beastie Boys. Yeah. See? You did good. I'm yeah. impressed with your stinking ass. Uh, why was Young Black Teenagers controversial? Because their names was Young Black Teenagers and they was white. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, how easy was that? <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, All right, and on number 20, this is the easiest. Well, this ain't, yeah, it should be an easy one for you. What hip-hop movie is loosely based on the life of Russell Simmons and Rick Rubin? Crush Groovin. See, see, you did good. See, you in my age, you in my age group now. <laughs> we, we, we moving when I was, we moving not necessarily, good. Not necessarily because, like, um, in that movie, they had, uh, what, Fat Boys? Yeah. They had Nigga, one uh, of my Run first DMC. tapes was a Fat Boy tape. Like, yeah. I mean, Kobe <laughs> Hall had them, had them Fat Boy tapes and them Skinny Boy tapes when we was going to elementary. Like, I mean, now we moving. We can, you ask some questions in that time frame. Of you oh, going, of course you can answer them. Anything. Why would I answer them? I don't want, I'm not going to ask you those. I'm going to ask you questions well, nigga, that's supposed to be hard. I mean, I could ask you some questions, too, like, yeah, but you're asking me shit that is. Who's obscure. the first rapper to piss during the <laughs> middle of the show <laughs> in 1974? <laughs> like, I mean, like, I mean, like, fuck, I don't know who this is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Tell me this, though. This is just like a, a little sidebar question. In Crush Grew, who was in the movie more than they anticipated being and they made a point of being <laughs> everywhere in the movie that they could they did it on purpose yeah um and and you'll know what i'm saying once you figure it out i'm trying to think of that this nigga was popping up moving shit <laughs> <laughs> oh he, rick no, no i seen rick rubin in there well, yeah because well, he's part of the character yeah, but right. this dude uh, was literally with a with a dolly moving shit <laughs> in the background. L L. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, but he I saw him talking about that one time. He said I was gonna get in that movie no matter yeah. what. And he was all it's it's like it's a I think there's like two or three different spots where he's just like walking in the background doing nothing. Uh, so I think that's pretty cool. What uh here what movie uh came out about the same no, what two movies came out around about the same time about sort of about the same subject matter. One was a hit and one was a flop. It better not be what I think it is. <laughs> they came out about the same time? Yeah, they came out around about the same time. One was huge and one was not. Better not be Rapping Hood. No. <laughs> Have you ever seen that? I watched that once and was like, Woo. this is horrible. It came out about the same time as Crush Group. That's uh, Itching for a Scratch, wasn't that in there? Uh, breaking. <laughs> that's one of them. Beat Street. Yep, that's the other. I'll be. This is the. If you want to get on me, I've never seen Beat Street. Really? I've never watched Beat Street. You need to watch it because that's the closest one to the true hip hop history. It might be something else I ain't never seen too. But I've um, seen the Breakings and yeah. yeah Breaking was the one that, especially when Turbo did that broom dance. Yeah, that I that see, shit was over. I thought Rapper Hood was fresh when I was a kid though. You kidding me? It was horrible. Though. Yeah, that was bad. <laughs> that was really, really bad. What was Ice? What was Vanilla Ice's rap movie called? Oh, oh, mm. oh, oh! Wait a minute, the one where he was like just on that guest motorcycle? Star? No, nigga, he had his own. Movie. I remember he had his own movie, but I can't remember what it was called. How do you know it, nigga? I seen it. Uh, well, I seen I it, but I can't it. remember what it was called. <laughs> cool as ice. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that horrible movie. That was yeah. bad too. But I do remember that. Yeah, nigga. Don't get you me know what I was thinking don't of. Don't get though? me to throwing back some questions. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I was thinking of though. What? I was thinking of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles because he was in one of them. I think the second. Go one. Ninja, Go Ninja, yeah. Go. Go, 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 go. Yeah, that was yeah. the joint. I almost got to see Vanilla Ice in concert. He was supposed to be opening for Hammer. Uh huh. Was you there? speaking of Hammer? <clears throat> what artist mm -hmm. said that Hammer? came and checked his ass and was about to fuck him up because he, he said something his about his mama. mama. Red man. <laughs> <laughs> 
I remember I see yeah. Red Man talking about that yeah. too. So Hammer was getting ready to stomp his yeah. ass. Yeah. I was Everything cracking fight. up. That shit was funny. Yeah. Red Man. Uh, they said Hammer ain't no joke. Yeah, they you don't want to fuck with him. Hammer was from Oakland. He was a, yeah. He, he, he was affiliated. He was, yeah, yeah, even uh, Outcast said that. They was like, you yeah, can talk shit. Talk about Hammer, but talk shit. about him. But run up on that. That's right. what Dre said. <laughs> He's run up on. See what happened. So yeah, Hammer wasn't no joke. Hammer was dope though. I'm sorry. That was a hell of a fucking interview. What rapper? Went to the <laughs> EBT office to get <laughs> their card uh, in a was, limo. Well, drinking vodka. Barefoot. <laughs> That's ODB. Mm. I watched that shit on MTV mm. going, this nigga is for real mm. drunk going to get his full stamps. In a limo. Yeah, that just blew my mind. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Did you... Did you see the episode of Cribs that Red Man was on? Yeah, a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, that's you, one of my favorite episodes because it was for real. They that's was what, just he was just talking about that on. Uh, yeah, Jackson. I saw that because it was real. I was, and I always wondered if that was actually real, hmm. but or did he stage it? But that shit was real. <laughs> yeah. Dude sitting in or laying in the middle of the floor, mm-hmm. knocked the fuck out. Nigga had a dollar box. <laughs> 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 nigga had to rub the wires together. <laughs> yeah. That shit cracked me up. I love yeah. Red Man. He's probably one of the realest out there. Yeah. But yeah, that was um, 20 hip hop questions to stump figs, and Man. I think I did. He, he would tell him to get when I was born, and then we <laughs> all that shit. I had to go back and research. Yeah, but you should have known yeah, that shit. It's not. I mean, I done forgot know. all that shit, nigga. <laughs> like, I mean, fuck. Let's let's talk about today, or not today. I you can't no, do today. I, I can do the no. <laughs> no, you can't, cause I, I can't. I don't know, I know little, squ- I don't know little squirmy in there. Exactly. Like <laughs> <laughs> I was saying the same shit. There's so many fucking littles out there. Little squirm dog. <laughs> that I can't fuck with today's hip hop right but now. It, but I, but it's gonna, I, it's gonna I let change. you. Ha- I let you say you got me. I did get you. Ain't no let you. I got you. Ain't nobody else can answer them motherfucking questions neither. I think Ray might have been able to answer. No, something. he can't tell you who went to the grocery store. I didn't say nothing about no got fucking. Two- it got store. two bags of bananas <laughs> and ate them before he recorded his first album. No, I don't know. We don't know who did it. It'd be different if no. I was asking you questions that no. didn't pertain to anything. Yeah. That didn't make any fucking sense. What rapper drinks Sprite? What rapper did a commercial with a mouthful of peanut butter? Is there this really is somebody? Recent. That's yeah, real? this is recent. As far as maybe a few months back. And they still play it. I have no idea. It's ludicrous. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I seen that <laughs> yeah. What rapper ate motherfucking cereal on a whole song on his album? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. Mm-hmm. No, I think you said talk, talk to me about that before. But who was it? Because I can't remember. Q Tip. That nigga ate a whole bowl of cereal. No, I didn't was know that. The intro, I thought about. These niggas so serious. <laughs> <laughs> Which album? It's not Midnight the Marauders. Am- the it? Amplified. It's his own album. Oh, it's the solo joint. Yeah. Oh shit! See, I gotta go back and watch, yeah. listen to that. Was that a good album? I loved it. Because I only heard like maybe what oh, the singles. It off was of some it. of the last Dilla influence. Oh, was it? Yeah. Did Dilla do uh, "Breathing Stop"? Yes. Okay. Did he do? Let uh, me tell you a funny secret about the Dilla "Breathing Stop." Okay. He lost the original version. No and way. And it was supposed to be like major. And oh, for real? That was the remake. Oh, shit. Yeah. I wonder what it sounded like. Uh, yeah. I wonder what that yeah. shit sounded like. I yeah. bet that was killing, too. See, nigga, I'll take you there on them trivia questions. Oh, thank you. I'll, I'll teach you it. something about hip hop all the time. I just taught you shit. You didn't teach me shit. Yeah, I did. I taught I, you shit. You taught me about the funky four plus one. <laughs> <laughs> like every damn question but was hey, the funky four plus one. There's only two questions. I'm going to have to go check them niggas. You didn't ask me nothing about Busy B. No, you didn't ask me nothing about Busy B. I had to get some like, questions yeah, that was going to stomp you and yeah, I did, yeah. so I'm nigga, good. You got, I stumped the That's, shit out you. Try to stump me in my <laughs> lifetime. <laughs> Don't try to stump me you be- about in before your I was era. dead. <laughs> <laughs> who was really? Well, I tell you what, you can't mm-hmm. tell me who was really, um, really the rapper dude. <clears throat> oh yeah, I can't remember dude's name, but he was a um, he was like a, a what you call it, a DJ. A, yeah, a he DJ. was a DJ. Rick Deeson. 
Rick That's D's. not Rick D's. I, I thought it was Rick D's. Rick D's did uh, Disco Duck. Okay, well who, well, who the fuck is the rapping Duke then? That's one of them niggas. George something. <laughs> I can't remember, but I, I have to look it up. But that's a that yeah, was an actual him, DJ. Yeah, I thought Rick D's did No, Rick D's didn't See, do that one. I gave you some false knowledge. <laughs> 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 With that, we're going to move to the next one. Peace. And on this final thought, uh, Figs wanted to say, "We're gonna talk about people who don't do what the fuck they' supposed to do." <laughs> okay, give me an example. What we talking about, people nigga? We talking about you? Oh, what, oh. <laughs> 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 Let's talk about people. Okay. Nigga. Don't you hate when you tell a nigga to do something uh-huh. and they don't do it? <laughs> but you can't understand why they didn't do it. Like we're doing this podcast, and uh-huh. I'll give you an example of how we have this segment uh-huh. called uh, "Watch This," uh-huh. and we're supposed to take turns watching movies, <laughs> and then we're supposed to talk about how we felt about the movie. Well, this segment was going on good. Uh-huh. <clears throat> really, it wasn't because you was making me watch some bullshit. Nah, you was watching some cool shit. You actually liked a couple of them. Anyway, get to what you were saying. Anyway, it came to the time for this nigga to watch a movie. Mm-hmm. The poc- We've been doing this podcast for about a year and a half. What? Yeah, yeah. Probably, probably over that now. It's taking about a year for this nigga, and he still ain't watched this movie. <laughs> I think he was supposed to watch Harriet before that. I've already watched Harriet. I had watched uh, that before. It was something else he was supposed to watch before that. No, it's just this one. Oh. Uh. And it's not that I don't want to watch it. I just fucking forget to watch it. Nigga made me watch Waiting. Waiting's good. It shows what it's like working in the restaurant. And if that's the case, I ain't never eaten in a restaurant. Well, uh, (laughs) and this nigga, I called him the other day, tell him to mix my shit. Uh This nigga mixed the wrong song, (laughs) y'all. He sent it to me. Had to go back and mix it. (sighs) Then I text his ass and told him to make me a video for uh, For YouTube so I could release some music for Uh y'all. And this nigga still ain't even did it. Uh I've sent him samples and told him to make certain beats. And this nigga still ain't did it. I, no, I actually started making beats What do you do with night. a person that won't do what they're supposed to do? <laughs> in, in your case, you usually fire them. But you don't go nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, the firing ain't work. I guess I need to have the police over here to escort your ass out with a restraining order. We're not firing you. You still over here. <laughs> that's usually what you do is you fire me like every week yeah do y'all have any people in y'all life is always not doing what the fuck they supposed to do i i swear to god i want to watch that movie i want to watch it i just have you want to watch it, about it. it. you've been wanting to watch it for a year <laughs> you ain't watched it <laughs> like, i'm telling you i just forget about it I swear unfair about it. like a motherfucker i, I just forget about that it nigga sent me harry potter did I? Did you watch it? Either? No, I'm supposed to watch it after you watch the shit you watch. <laughs> <laughs> Which one did I give you to you watch? You gave me the whole fucking collection. Oh, I did, didn't I? Damn, that's a lot of movies. You're gonna take some. It's gonna take some time to watch that movies. I wouldn't. Even, I'm not even gonna put you. Through well, that. I ain't even gonna lie, because after you watched the uh, uh, the, the Irishman, uh-huh. and then I watch. It was my turn to watch him. Mm-hmm. We was probably gonna go just as long. Because I wasn't watching them motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> and what sucks about it, though, is because they get really good. By the end of them, they get real good. I just want but you to do what you supposed to do. I'm, I'm trying, dude. I, I, it takes a lot to change you're when you get to older. do a lot of shit. And I, ha- and I, just so you know, I did start back on beats. I took a week off because I was on vacation last yeah. week. But I started back on them last Who told you night. to go see Janet? How many fucking times you seen Janet already? Six. See, I knew it was a bunch. And it was dope. Ludacris and them big ass shoes. It was it was dope. It was an amazing show. You was supposed to have your ass at home making them beats. I'm making beats now. I'll be making some tonight before I go to bed. It so, ain't even you know. supposed, nigga. You post. 
I'm supposed to be making some Yeah, man. If you're supposed to be doing what you're supposed to do, do what you're supposed to do. Okay. And then we out. <laughs> <laughs>